It's Sunday, December 29th, I think. I don't know what time it is. It's late. Ish. I don't know. I have no idea. The kids are home, so it's after 6.30. <laughs> I don't think it's 8 o'clock yet, but somewhere in there. I haven't vlogged all day because I've just been busy doing stuff. Uh, I got a stencil order in for the Etsy shop. Um, yeah, late last night, and so I've been packaging that all day, getting my new little suitcase um, conditioned and making a belly band for it and unwrapping a few more Christmas gifts. Um, we got some chocolates in from my husband's family and Polyus's family. We also got this. Some kind of natural herbal digestive thing made in Germany. I don't know what that is, but thank you. <laughs> anyway, it's been a fun day. We just quiet day at home. We didn't go anywhere or do much, but um, just stay home. Uh, I'll insert some pictures here of my new little suitcase and the band um, that I made for it. It's a new little luggage tag. If you didn't see last week's vlog, it's um, just like my smaller little brown leather suitcase, only just a little bit bigger. So um, I found it at a vintage shop. So um, I found the first one at a vintage shop too. So if you want a suitcase like my little art case, again, I'll put a picture here of the two of them. You need to look at the vintage shops. It's where I keep finding them. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is... What day is it? Monday morning. I think it's about 11 o'clock. Um, I got the vlog edited. I just filmed a small short video about the new travel art case that I found. Um, there'll be links below the video for the video where I made the belly band, the video where I made the um, travel, lug the uh, luggage tag for it and all of that stuff. Um, we're going to be going out house hunting with my daughter. I, I need to make some sketchbooks. Um, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. I'm going to be continuing with daily drawing and sketching next year. Um, in some respects, using up little notebooks that I have in the closet, but I really prefer my homemade notebooks. If y'all have been watching for a while, then you know that. And I will link a video on how I make them down below. I'm out right now. So I need to make some. First, I need to cut some um, cardstock. I use file folders. Excuse me, hold on, I gotta hold it with my head. All right. <laughs> I use file folders, and so I'm going to um, cut a bunch of folders to size, and I'm gonna run them through my printer while we're out house. <laughs> And that way they'll be ready to go when I get back and I can make some notebooks. Let's see. I know, holding it my head with my head is weird, I'm aware. Okay, we got Project Pan going, art supply style. If you want more to know more about that, there's a video coming soon here on the channel. Um, I think I'm kind of cleaned up. I think I got all the paint off my hands. I got my sketchbooks made for the new year, which was a problem. I needed to get some of those made and I got those done. I have a dead 64 gig SD card, so it's corrupted, but I've got a spare. Um, and yeah, I think it might be time to go downstairs. I I'll say too that I started what I think is gonna be a fun new paperclip. Um, I had a bunch of st strips, little strips of paper left over from making the sketchbooks. And uh, I always have paperclip stuff out. It lives out on the table. And so I took a piece of wood, a round one, and painted it yellow. Used some glue to glue a bunch of the strips down. So when it dries, I'm going to leave it overnight. I'll trim off all the little stray ends, and then we'll work on making a paperclip out of it. But I think the texture on it's gonna be really cool. I don't know what the message is it's gonna say yet, but it's gonna be pretty cool, I think. All right, that's it. Okay, so it's back. after eight o'clock, just barely. Still Monday. I did a quick acrylic pour 
And there we go. I did a quick acrylic pour, made a big giant mess, barely got it cleaned up. Oh, thank you, dear. And we decided to go for a walk because why not? Bob is off work, so he doesn't have to get up early. Nope. So let's go. I would say good morning, but it's afternoon. <laughs> it is, what time is it? 2.27 p.m. December 31st, New Year's Eve. Um, so this morning I went out and ran some errands with my daughter. And um, while I was out, I got a cordless frother, like it's a mixer thing. Um, let's see, looks like this. Um, if you are seeing this clip, you've seen the clip of me using that. I was mixing all those random tubes of paint I want to let go for Project Pan um, that I want to let go of. And I mixed like all the turquoise and blues together, all the purples and dark blues together, all of the reds, oranges, and that sort of thing together, all the green, green colors together, and that sort of thing. So I got four jars of paint. And then the last two jars are 50-50 of Floetrol and pouring medium. So I'm going to, so I got rid of all the little tiny containers on the table and they're in the Project Pan box. And then I'm going to, over the next few days or weeks, use up the four jars of paint at minimum and hopefully the two jars of Floetrol and pouring medium um, doing some acrylic pours and this one here is drying up very nicely Yeah, you can st see where it's still wet, but it's all good. So the uh, Small tubes and things so they're all in here in this box So at the end of the month we'll go through and see what all is in here that I was able to use there was a few products that I opened that were just completely dried out and so they went right in here so oh well that's what happens right that's why we're doing this i did decide too for the moment that we are going to mix some of this pouring paint in paper cups rather than trying to rinse out a reusable cup just to make my life a little simpler 
So that's gonna be a thing. And when I do use a reusable cup, I think I'm gonna just set it aside next to the canvas to dry. And when it's completely dry, the paint should peel right out. So I think I'm gonna do that rather than trying to continually wash things. Cause yeah, that's just driving me crazy. That's it for the moment. The husband has a question. Where is he? There he is. Hey, Fred. Fred says hi. Um, I need to get some popsicle sticks and I need packing tape. For God's sake, somebody remind me to put that on the list. Packing anyway, tape. packing tape. All right, that's it for the moment. We'll be back. Hey guys, it is Tuesday evening, 5.48 p.m. and we are getting ready to spend Christmas Eve. New Year's um, Eve. I'm sorry, New Year's Eve out to dinner. Uh, at least the first part of it. Then we're gonna come home and wow dark hold on there we go we're gonna come home we'll crack some champagne i don't know if we'll stay up until midnight i don't know maybe i don't know no guarantees anyway we'll play some games play some games probably watch some tv god knows what we'll get up to anyway i'll bring you with us where we can and i'll be back wow hard stop Hey guys, uh, happy January 1st to you. It is well after lunch, to be honest. I, I don't have any idea what time it is. Let's see. The computer will tell me if it'll wake up. It's 3.49 p.m. Uh, you know, we've been puttering around all day. So we were up kind of late last night. If you're watching this footage, you've seen footage my daughter shot for me of me um, using up some of my old paint and um, doing an acrylic pour. All three cups had the same colors in them. One came out very red, one and the other two came out um, very brown with hints of red. Okay. I think they're all very pretty. They're not what you would call bright. And I think if you arrange them in the right way with maybe the red one in the middle, it would make an interesting triptych. So um, we'll see how they are when they dry. The Project Pan paint that we mixed up trying to get rid of paint. Um, again, if you saw this, you probably saw at least a short clip of that. There'll be more footage about that later in the month. Um, it was kind of lumpy, some of it was dry, but the um, battery operated frothing whisk thing, this thing, let's see, that I bought at Target for like three bucks, really does work 
to get most of the lumps out and the paint poured just fine. I don't really see any big giant lumps that are gonna bother me. So um, I think that worked really well. Um, I think in this case, I might be saving the cups. I don't know, we're gonna see how they, how they look when they're dry. I might wanna, I might want to take them apart and use them on a paper clip or something. They look interesting. And there's, of course, lots of paint in the pan, in the tray. Um, I made a mess on the floor. Don't tell the husband. But I cleaned it up. Shh. Um, but anyways, I kind of got paint everywhere, but I got it cleaned up. Anyway, things are torched. Things are drying now. I did some computer work I needed to do for January 1. I need to do a bunch of video editing and some filming, but I think I'm gonna do some of that like tomorrow, uh, maybe at least the editing part, maybe Friday. I need to do some voiceovers, which sucks, but there you have it. So anyway, we're just puttering today. Nothing, you know, earth shattering. I read a couple books this morning. Yeah, so how about you? I hope you're having an enjoying, relaxing New Year's Day. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I would say good morning, but I think it's afternoon. I don't know what time, but it's Thursday, January 2nd. We have been just puttering around the house. We went out to Home Depot real quick for a few things and picked up some sale stuff. I got some free flooring samples to do some paint experiments with and some other things I will share later. Right now, we are going to take a break and go out for a walk. I do have end of the year bookkeeping to do. I need to film one more video minimum for January. And there was something else on the list that I can't think of right now. It's, I did write it down though. But I'm going to go walking first. I'll be back. Okay, I don't know what time it is, but it's after five o'clock. Let's see. It's still Thursday, by the way. 5.46 p.m. I'm in the house alone. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened in a few weeks um, now that the kids are living here. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you what I got at the hardware store that I thought was interesting and free. Um, so um, Bayer uh, is a pay house paint company and they have this 2020 color trends um, little booklet that I found interesting. And of course it's talking about um, home interior design color trends, but yeah, there's some interesting imagery and I like the color stories in it. So I picked one up. They also have rainbow, um, they have these in rainbow color. They have one that's just greens, blues, purples, yellows, orange, reds, and all of them again have interesting color stories in them for the year for 2020. So I picked some of those up. And also um, Home Depot has these are flooring samples. They're free, Pergo flooring samples free. So these can be um, lightly sanded to get some of that shine off of there, coated in some gesso, and then painted on or collaged on or whatever you want to do, do acrylic pouring on them. So I picked up a few of those. Don't get greedy, but I picked up a few. One of each color that they had. So those will go into my closet and my stash of stuff to play with. Sure about. I think I like them. There's some interesting like cells and things happening here and here. We'll have to see how much more they change as they're drying because they do continue to change as they're drying. And sorry about the glare, but they're all completely wet. Um, that one is interesting. And then these are the three little ones. Oops. Okay, these are the three other ones that I did that I do think that if I was gonna hang them up as a triptych, as a set, I would hang them that way with the reddish, more red one in the middle and all the parts that are very green at the bottom. They're almost completely dry. So when they are dry, I'll be giving them their clear coat along with all the others, this one and the others. And I'm saving some of the pour cups down here. There's some interesting things happening. So we're saving some of those. We'll see what happens. It might, you know, this one here is like, been, uh, this one been mixing and turning br very brown and very dark. 
And they may all like turn to mud and gross, but we'll see. Anyway, way. I'm gonna enjoy having house to myself. I'm gonna go make myself some dinner. I guess I should feed the dog. She's here too, so I guess I should go do that. I'll I will back. also say at the moment, I intend on selling all of the acrylic pours I'm currently working on along with the clock I made a while back, if you remember. Clock. So if you're interested in buying any of them, please email me. And my email is down in the description below. And um, let's talk. And she's begging for some of my food, which isn't even cooked yet. You've already had your dinner. Yes. Anyway, um, the pores are just still drying upstairs and I just had the thought that, you know, my object is of what I'm doing is to use up some of the paint that was drying up in the tube anyway. So if those two little ones that got kind of muddy and didn't turn out the way I thought, and even or the big one that's mostly red instead of what I was shooting for, don't dry the way I want them to. I'll just do another pour on top of them. Although I think the red and purple one, I'm gonna leave. Um, the two little ones, we'll have to see. We'll have to wait a couple of days and see what happens as they dry. The three with um, the three uh, long skinny ones, um, I kind of like those. I like the way they've dried, which surprises me. They're very busy. There's no dead space in them um, or neutral, neutral space, but I like the way they turned out. So I think I'm gonna leave those alone and the big black one, but those two other little ones, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch some more videos and try to figure out what I did wrong. Although I think I just had too much paint is what I think happened. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it's 1.16 p.m. on Friday, January 3rd. Uh, I spent the morning um, updating the website and I posted a couple of ads to the, or posts to the business page on Facebook. And <laughs> laughing at my daughter's Roomba. She got a Roomba for Christmas. She's been running it upstairs and that shit's hilarious when it comes in the art room because I don't think it knows what to do with all the stuff that's on the floor. It gets stuck behind the easel. It gets stuck under my desk. <laughs> it gets stuck on the drying rack, half on, half off one of the legs and can't get itself off. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Anyway, um, my husband's downstairs puttering in the garage. I need to go to the grocery store because we're out of some stuff and I need to figure out what we're doing for dinner. So that means I need to put pants on other than pajama bottoms. So I'm going to go take care of that and I'll be back. Can you tell Christmas is over? And Lily, there she is. She's trying to beg mommy to let her eat Christmas ornaments. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. One. Mommy that says one. they're not ed edible though. I don't think Lily believes her. Hey guys, it is Saturday evening, December 4th, I think, I think it's the 4th. Uh, as you saw already, we spent the morning putting Christmas away <laughs> for the year. So that's all said and done and puttering around the house. The kids did some, are doing some laundry. They actually went out to go house hunting, so cross your fingers, um, and went out to dinner and we were here I did some uh, creating intros and endings for videos for uh, the chronic pain group that I'm working with with Cindy Utter and Peg Robinson and Carla McCants. Uh, that and got those all done and sent off to everybody who needs them. And we decided to go out to dinner, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna bring you with us our last little bit for the week. And uh, I think we're gonna go try something new, someplace new if they're not too crowded. It is a bit nippy outside, so I've got my halfway gloves on. I've got my plaid coat with a lining because yeah, it's a little it's a little bit nippy. I don't know what the temperature is, but I'm a little cold. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I still can't do any art up in the art room because acrylic pour stuff is drying everywhere. Um, but I have some watercoloring and daily drawing I want to do downstairs when I get back, so I'll get that done. All right, I'm gonna. 
get in the car as soon as it's pulled out and I'll be back. me to some place called Langer's Entertainment Center. Yeah, so? Which has an arcade, a bowling alley. Rock climbing. Rock climbing and food. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't <laughs> been there before. I heard about it. Turn haven't left been there. onto Southwest Fisher Road. Right, we'll see. I don't know. I'll let you know. Okay, so Langer Entertainment Center. That's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. um, I liked it. So the upstairs is, uh, if you're watching this, you saw some pictures I took up there. So it's um, there's a bar upstairs, 21 and older, uh, probably for the parents who are going crazy by all the gaming noise downstairs from their kids. <laughs> I don't think so. But it's, um, you know, if we still had little ones, I'd take them there versus Chuck E. Cheese. I'm not, I used to work for the company that invented Chuck E. Cheese, and it's not my favorite place. Um, but this place was pretty cool. They even had like a rock climbing wall and all stuff like that. So it was pretty arcades. cool. The arcades. The burger, by the way, in the bar upstairs was delicious. Uh, the best one we ha we've had so far. Um, so we really like that. We're going to go get some steps in now at Target and just try to improve our step count a little bit. We don't need really need anything at Target, but you know. Anyway, we hope you've all had a great week and had a happy new year. Um, we've had a good week and we will see you next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Check out the video description for relevant links, places to donate to the channel, and support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook group. Uh, happy mail address and all of that at that jazz and don't forget the most important thing go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and we'll see you later bye guys